are soon to start the UK Wrestling Super Tag League. But who is going to go into that as tag team champions? Will it be these guys? They are former champions. They think they deserve to be champions tonight. They get the chance to regain their tag team titles. And on Friday Night Showdown this week, these two men, Johan Hunt and Joe Sedgwick, won their triple threat matches. And they won those matches in emphatic fashion. But can they do it as a team? When it matters, here in the UK W Arena, when the lights are on bright, the people are here, it is Revolutionary Road, the biggest stage, and the Tag Team Championships mean the world to all these three teams. But is it going to go to this team who've not had the UKW Tag Team Championships before? After defeating the Persian Empire two straight weeks, they got their shot, and here it is. Defeated the Persian Empire two times, and they thought, you know, they deserve the shot. And Red Rocco, our general manager on showdown, agreed with them. So a shot is what they have. The Persian Empire weren't happy about it, but it is now a triple threat. Got dogs of war chant going. But both these teams have got to get past the next two men that Shelby's about to introduce. I've got my glow sticks ready, you know why? I've got some, they've got some, Shelby's got some, and the UK Wrestling Tag Team Champions are lighting up this hot crowd in Batley on this cold January night. Teams all hungry. Two challengers, one set of champions. And it was an unbelievable 2022 for NRG. So, Brett Hadley, I do have to apologise. This match is not scheduled for one fall. What? It's an elimination tag match. Well, they threw that in late, didn't they? It is. Somebody threw that in rather late. But it's now an elimination tag team match. NRG. Think about this, shall we? NRG. It's precarious for them. They're gonna have. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is a triple threat tag team match, and is elimination. So that means that. It's going to come down to one-on-one -on -one teams. So Neil showing the tag team titles to Joe Sedgwick, who would love to get them back in the reign of the Persian Empire. No deal. Food's not good enough for ham something, Sella. What's that? <laughs> Jacob Reed is offering food for the title belt. Well, NRG... Like I said, they had an incredible 2022. Can they uh, bring it into 2023? Joe Sedgwick starting for the Persian Empire. This is going to be quicker than a hiccup, Shelby, I tell you. I can imagine. It really is. These guys are speedy. Oh, 
contract by Sedgwick. Nobody ever is going to discount Cedric's ability. We've talked about it so many times. All six men going at it. Apart from Hamza, who's safe on the outside for now. Dobbs and Warren are in. Jake and Rue with that huge boo. Not anymore. In comes Hamza. Atomic drop. And another one on the front, on the back. Out goes the rolling moose. Out, up goes momentum. Tilt to well, backbreaker. Oh, and the Dogs of War taking over. This tag team triple threat. It's now elimination. Johan Hun on the outside. Sedgwick with the clothesline. Oh, no. Yeah, Harrison. Dropped on the back wall. Shelby, look at this. Sedgwick is going for it all on the outside. Oh no, he's left the man on the cliff side about to jump off the edge of the cliff all the way through the middle row of that torpe. Oh my god. What is momentum doing? Shelby! Momentum goes through the bottom row. Oh no, Tommy. Oh man. So we had a top, middle, and a bottom rope dive. Not really sure who got the worst of that. This crowd bringing the energy for NRG. Momentum back in there with Cliff Harrison. Sends Cliff into the corner. Wild action already here at Revolutionary Road. Tag Team Champions proving once again why they are at the top of the mountain. Up and over, oh, right in the back of the neck of Cliff Harrison. The tandem offense by NLG Shelby. Oh, the dog's out of this nearly. Oh, nearly. Nearly. And it's sudden, sudden death here if your team gets pinned, they're out of here. And then it'll be one on one. Is the Cliffside story going to add another chapter tonight? NRG, double backdrop on Harrison. Johan Hunt back in there, flying in on both NRG members. Johan Hunt down for a cover. Imagine, Shelby, if NRG are the first team eliminated, we'd be guaranteed new champions then. We would indeed. Let's hope that doesn't happen, but it could well. Suplex by Wolfboy Johan Hun. Raised by freaking Wolves. Or freaking Waynes, if you ask him today. Oh no, he's got caught. Oh! He just got caught. One, two, oh no. Momentum not out. Jacob Reed, the big man, is back in here tying up one half of the tag team champions. Oh no, this looks painful. Oh my god. Tied up with nowhere to go. That didn't look very nice. It did not, did it? <laughs> There's a tag to Cliff Harrison back in. You can still see some of JPL's confetti on the back of uh, yeah, it's all Cliff the Harrison race. there. I, yeah, think, it's, it's all. I think it's going to be there all night. I know? think it might well Everyone's be. be I do hope JPL's okay with just getting checked backstage. I it's all right. Look how full we are today, Brett. It is. There's a load of people in here. It's so full. It is. We like, that's how we like it, though. The atmosphere is here. Come and join us at UKW in Batley, our next big event, February 25th. Get your tickets on the UKW app. And come and join us in Batley. It's a good night. Sedgwick with a huge clothesline looking to eliminate NRG here. But no. Hamza trying to get back in. Raising the ire of Joe. Now Mo pushes Joe Sedgwick back to the NRG corner. Makes the tag. Rolling Moose is back in. Let's go Musa Chan. Love that. Looking to close line. Cedric over the top rope. Cedric's not going anywhere. Oh, he is now. There we go. Third time lucky. For Hamza Musoa. Who 
who is going to walk out a revolutionary robot as tag team titles. Joe is draped over the ropes here, and oh, DDT right on his head. Maybe it might knock some sense into him, who knows? Maybe. We can hope, can't we? And look at Hamza, oi, twisting all the way onto Cedric. Is it enough to knock the Persian Empire out of this match? Almost enough. No team wants to get pinned because they will have to go backstage and lick their wounds. And they will not be champions. Now, NRG want this crowd to be quiet. Oh my god. Chops everywhere tonight. Listen to this crowd. They want one more, they get another one. No rings his wrist. Sedgwick, though, not taking that kindly to that. He's going to have a red chest in the morning. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> red like a tomato. Sedgwick ducks under Mo, ducks under him again, but Mo looks for a quick kick. Sedgwick kicks him in the midsection. Sedgwick, oh, Spanish fly! Is that it? Is Sedgwick done for? Almost. My voice going to cope up tonight, huh? What was that move? The, the Spanish fly. Wow, impressive agility on show at Revolutionary Road. Wowzers, jawbreaker by Cedric though. Cedric drags Mo back to the Persian Empire corner and makes the tag. Johan Hunt is back in. What's Johan going to do here? Oh, both men colliding. Twice. Mo looks for a kick. Oh, that time he got all of it. You hear that smack. On the side of the head, Cedric intercepted. And now, can momentum get to his partner, Shelby? Can he get... Oh, hang on. Cedric pulled down Hamza at the last minute. Wow. And prevented. Ah, but he can tag Jacob Reed. He runs it with a huge drop kick. And Delirium just knocks Johan Hunt Delirious. And now, can Reed get something going? No, there's the Wolf Blade from Johan. He might be looking here, shall we, for the Wolf on nine. There it is. Right in the face. But he's got to get him down, Jacob Reed. Catches him, is it? Jacob's ladder for Johan Hunt. He doesn't want to go on this trip, I'll tell you. But he's going on Jacob's ladder. That could be it, the Persian Empire could be out of this! Oh, man! Sedgwick saving it at the last possible second. And now Jacob Reed makes a tag to Momentum, and it's now back to Mo and Sedgwick who gets pie-faced. These two men do not like each other. There is a lot of tension in that ring right now. Really? Yeah. Bad blood, I would say. Yeah, bad blood is right. It's not going... Fantastic. Now, what is Cedric doing? He's positioned. Momentum on the top rope. This could get dangerous. What is Cedric doing? Cedric is positioning momentum. Cedric's climbing out on the outside. What in the hell is he doing, Shelby? What is Cedric doing? Oh, he's got intercepted by Johan and Cliff Harrison. And this is going... Oh, no. Shelby, look at this. No, I don't he think can't I can. look. No? No. You want me to do this? He yeah, can't you look. Can. All six men are literally on the top row. Oh, they're not now. Spinebusters, a double version the Persian Empire and now Jacob Reed, Hamza Masoa, the two men left <laughs> Dueling Dogs of War and NRG chants going it's pretty wild on the outside here what is Hamza doing Keep your eye on Hamza Masoa on the outside. Oh no. You might want to look away again, Shelby. Shelby has literally got her head in her hands. The rolling moose is going all the way to the top rope. And from up there, there is only one way. It's all the way down onto everyone. It's safe to look, but they're all down. Yes, it was. This crowd in Batley. 
appreciating this UK wrestling tag team triple threat bonanza at Revolutionary Road. That's a word I've never used before. Bonanza. bonanza. <laughs> wow. No team eliminated yet. Wow. This thing could go any of three ways. We're no closer to finding out who's going to walk out of battle with the belts. But Harrison here might be looking for Maria on Cedric. The most beautiful move you will ever see. No, Cedric might be looking for total recall if he hits this. It's over for the Dogs of War. Cedric's got him up and he Oh, no, Stun Dog Millionaire. <laughs> Stun Dog Millionaire, another rolling moose. One more. Oh, man, and now Momentum with that spine legged moonsault. Who's got him? One, two, three. The dogs of war are out. And it's down to the Empire and the, the champion. Oh, it's the Empire. Sedgwick. The Persian Empire. Oh, my God. Have been eliminated. Well, I thought it was Cliff Harrison in the corner. It wasn't. It was Joe Sedgwick. It was Joe. The Empire have crumbled in their attempts. Yeah. And listen to this crowd waving them out. Harrison and Sarah waving them out. The Empire are gone. And now the Dogs of War have their chance to become the champions of UKW. And that could be it. Jacob Reed could be about to win all the Tag Team Championships. I can't believe it, Johan Hunt and Leone Rose gone on the outside there to try and scrape Sedgwick off the floor. <laughs> Still down there. He's, he's down and out. And listen to this crowd, half of them saying let's go dogs, let's go NRG. Jacob Reed and Cliff Harrison with the chance of a lifetime, eat defeat by Momentum. And now Momentum might be looking for the gory oh, bomb. Gory bomb. He hits it on Cliff Harrison, flush in the middle of the ring. Is that enough to retain the tag team titles? No, it's not. Some of this crowd think it was three. It wasn't. It was only goddamn two. This thing has been back and forth. Cedric still down on the outside. Might be hurt. Hopefully he isn't, but he's, he's he's really, really suffering on the outside there. Oh, Mo fires in at Cliff Harrison. Now, Cliff Harrison has momentum on the shoulders, but uh, Hamza makes the blind tag. Oh. I don't think Cliff realises that Hamza made the tag, but he did. He rolls through. It's the legal man. Is it enough? No. Cliff did not see the tag. And now... Hamson so charges at Harrison who ducks out of the way. Hits the Yakuza kick in the corner. And now Cliff Harrison picks up Hamson Masoa, but Oh my god! A destroyer by Hamza and now NRG calling for the blinding lights! There it is, and this one shall be. Surely that is enough to retain the titles. and it was all over. But what a match for all three teams. It has to be said, it could have gone any which way. In the end, the champions were resilient enough to withstand the challenge of the Persian Empire and the Dogs of War at Revolutionary Road. Jacob Reed giving the champions their dues does NRG continue to reign atop and light up this UKW tag team division of course coming soon the UKW Super Tag League and it'll be interesting to see who are going to be the next contenders to try and prize those belts away from NRG Whoever it is, Shelby, have got a hell of a job on their hands. So. They are you cha the champions.
great stuff, NRG champions we can all be proud of, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go. I think they are, and we already know it is no secret, Sid. Who got say, number one? We know he's number one and he's number two. He's Please the owner and CEO of the company got on, the lousy number. Has a mammoth task ahead yeah. of him if he needs to outlast Wallace. <laughs> If he wants to win that dream ticket, like you just said, Sid, he has to outlast 29 other hungry competitors. But he also has to outlast the young man who's going to come through that curtain in a couple of minutes. The man who got number two, who he knows very, very well. Last year's Great British Bash came down to Jonathan Sedgwick, Mustafa Khan and Joe Sedgwick and Joe made his decision. He made his bed and he had to lie in it when he eliminated his own dad from the Rumble and then handed the Great British Bash and the UK Wrestling Heavyweight Championship to Mustafa Khan on a silver platter. This year though, Mustafa Khan is already the champion and he is not in the I'm Great British say, Bash. You have to remember he has been removed from number four. We don't know who's going to be number four, we do know who's going to be number two. And it is this bodacious young upstar, the that prodigy. He calls himself the prodigy. Yeah. He wants to be an icon here in UKW. No! Here he is, with the world at his feet, his dad in the ring. Cedric is going to have to go the distance if he wants that dream ticket for himself. I'll make you proud, Sid. He said, Sid, I'll make you proud. He does it on purpose. He doesn't mean it. This guy took my mover, called it the one drop two pointer. The guy has more disrespect for everyone than anyone. Hopefully, he slides in. His dad gives him a massive super kick and he's eliminated straight away. He had his chance to fulfill his own destiny. He chose a very dark path last year. And now, the Great British Bash is about to get underway. Sedgwick versus Sedgwick to start the journey to find out who will leave with our dream ticket this evening. We are underway, the bell has rung, you can see them matching. His dad is a bit unnerving, does he want to fight his son? No, he didn't want to fight him last year, but he ended up doing it. Generations of Sedgwick in the oh, no respect oh, and oh. all straight for that super kick early on here. Joe looking for a super kick straight away. And oh Jonathan nearly eliminated him. Joe has oh. got Jonathan. Oh, oh Jonathan holds on. Oh they're precarious, Sid. This is dangerous, and we're less than a minute into the Great British Bash already. Cedric Jonathan close lines him back in it is like you said it's dangerous Jonathan is still on the outside oh. Joe trying to push his dad out of here oh my god Jonathan is teetering he literally is hanging on by a proverbial thread and Jonathan rolls back in and we nearly had both of them out straight away. I guess say, imagine if they properly made straight away. We would have the third person come out here and be like, 
Who's in this? Well, this is it. They're about 90 <laughs> seconds to entertain the crowd because there'd have been nobody else here. I'm hoping I'm going to get a countdown on the screen. I hope so, anyway. <laughs> we'll find out who's coming in at number three very soon. And here we go. And here we go, the countdown's on, Sid. Who is it going to be? We do not know. We're all going to find out together right now who's got number three. Oh, it's Damien Black! The silencer himself! The leader of the firing squad got number three. And he's firing on all cylinders, DDT's Jonathan. Spinebuster to Joe. The Iron Squad, squad leader here. Yeah, the silencer. And now look at both Cedrics up to their feet. Oh, both. What, what the hell? The double team? No, Fuck surely not. Oh! Both Cedrics just suplexed. But all three men down here. They suplexed Damien Black, but yeah, all three of them down. And I never thought I'd see them two work together ever again at anything. I mean, sometimes you do have to form temporary allowances say, in this kind of environment. Can yeah? help out here in a room. Absolutely. And now Joe goes back to his dad. All members of the firing squad are in the rumble. They did announce yeah. they would be in it. Uther and Damon Crow still to come later, but I have to ask you, Sid, I mean, originally Mustafa Khan was going to be number four yeah. until. I'm going to say. Until he accepted that challenge of Hoobers and now won the heavyweight championship and therefore, it, you know, eradicating himself from having to come into Look, the Great it's British Bash. It's from the above said that number four has to be removed and must have a can. Well, and let's not. find out. In three seconds, we're going to know who got number four. Number four. Oh, out oh, here. Brocco's come out Brocco. here. We want it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. These guys are no Oh my god! Oh, who is this? Hey, oh, who is this? 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 Who is Oh my god, oh, Hubris has, has, has oh, oh, no. taken that number four spot. He's taken the number four spot. Oh no. Hubris is in at four. Brocco's down on the stage. Oh man. Talk about a curveball, Sid. I gotta say. Oh, Hubris oh, nearly Hubris out. Going out early Cedric, here. Joe Cedric nearly eliminated Hubris, who springs off the ropes with a cutter. Springboard cutter there. And he said quite clearly he's going to win this thing and then cash in that oh. dream ticket tonight. Tonight he was letting yeah. Khan know he was going to have another match tonight. Oh, here. Wow. And is he. I mean, could it happen, Sid? Hey. Anything he wins can happen. It. That's his dream match. If he wants to cash in, he calls it. He could do it. And now, three seconds from number five. Oh, Jero. Former Grand Slam champion in UKW. Jero Lewis is in at five. Takes down the essential. With a flurry of offense, Jero is back. Takes down Joe. Takes down Damian Black. Jero, house of fire, drop kicking his way around this ring, and he would love to win everything tonight and get back to the promised land here in UKW. And now Joe Cedric firing back on J. Ro Lewis, throws him over the top rope. Remember both feet have to hit the floor for someone to be eliminated. Nobody eliminated yet. All five men so far in this match still in it. J. Ro fires back on Joe here. J. Ro throws Cedric over the top rope, but he cradles his leg on the ropes. Remember, you have to go over and both feet hit the floor. As 
we have number five. We know who number six is because he wore, he lost one of the uh, British Bass Box matches. Number six is this guy. Here is Chris Harrison. Goes right in on Joe Sedgwick. Neck breaker holds on. We've seen him do this before. Holds on again. Can it be a trifecta of neck breakers here for the man who doesn't live on my side or your side? Sydney lives on the cliff side and it's a double neck breaker. A double neck breaker by Harrison and J Ro. Oh, that's not going to happen. Oh, Cliff side effect. Just connecting. We said alliances would be short lived in yeah, this one. Yeah, that was very short. Nobody eliminated so far, Sid. Nobody eliminated. Damien Black and Jonathan Cedric, Joe Cedric and Cliff, and Paul Hubris. <laughs> yeah? And Jero Lewis in the corner. You're going to say, Paul Hubris already had a match. Cliff already had a match earlier on pushing limits. Yeah. They've already wrestled once already. But this is what we mean by the dream ticket, meaning so much. Everyone yeah. wants that opportunity. They're prepared. To become the dream ticket holder. Exactly, they're prepared to come back and do it again in the chance to win that golden ticket to a title opportunity. We're about to meet number seven. One of the around the clock <laughs> champions. Sheik McToom, brother, is in there. At number seven, firing away on Hubris. I'm gonna say Sheik, he was running wild for yeah. the split seconds About of ten. Two seconds, <laughs> yeah. Before. Oh no! I'm He's coming. firing back. Is he gonna try and get me oh, to no. the silence? He is. Back? Has he got the strength? No, he, oh, I don't think he has. And Sedgwick. Oh, say, say, oh, now oh, they're going to team up to do it. This Persian Empire, you've got to remember. Oh, yeah. But all is fair in love and the British bash. McToom. Now, leg drop. <laughs> 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 ah, leg drop with him. Wow. Yeah. Can I look for Hubris one corner? Damien Black on Cliff Harrison in the other. Jim Lewis struggling on the rush. Paul Hubris, though. Picks up Jero. Yeah, no one eliminated so far. This ring is starting to fill up with bodies. Jero over the top, Robert holds on. Oh, oh, Harrison nearly oh, going. Harrison oh, his feet touching. No, the they're not. Hasn't called it. No. Still, everyone here in this match. We're up to number seven. Nobody eliminated so far. And the countdown clock's about to come back. We're going to find out who got number eight. The two around the court champions. The going head to head. This is like the feud that will never end, Sid. <laughs> oh, 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 Castle eliminated. Chris Castle eliminated. Oh, oh no. Let's go. Look at that. Oh, look we at saw that. this on Friday. Yeah, we did. Shane McTune, the first one eliminated. Oh, yeah. Sheik McTune, the first one out of the British bash tonight. Oh. Unlucky Sheiky. <laughs> Wow, Chris Castle's going to love that. I'm never in the end of it. Oh, well, I'm going to say, we're never going to hear that. He was the first person to eliminate someone in this year's bash. I'm not checking my Twitter later. He'll give me a headache. Oh, that's now, j -Row. look at that. Face washing Joe in the corner. Hubris right to Sedgwick, they're oh, no stranger to each other, are they? Saving Jero Lewis there, uh, taking well, out the knee of It was in advert. No, Hubris and Joe Sedgwick, which is a match I've wanted to see for a long time. Whoa, Hubris looks for a double stomp, Sedgwick out of the way. What's Sedgwick doing? Is he going to go for the total recall here? Oh! No, he's not. And Hubris is down in the corner. Uh, we're up to number nine. Right out the back! Like you said, 
Red said he was screwed royally. How are that Genesis Championship by Sebastian Mercer and Leone Rose? NRG. Oh, axe kick to the back of Damian Black. And now Joe Sedgwick and Hamza Musoa, no strangers to each other. In a vertical clothesline on J Row there. <laughs> That's a... Wow, we already know, thanks to the British Bash Box matches, who got number 10, who'll be coming your way in a little moment. Oh, I'm just so happy to see Yeah, Andy it's great to see him back. back. We didn't know where he had gone. Oh, we know. Momentum is already up. in the bash as well. He got a later number. We'll get to that in a bit. He's got a while before he comes out here. I've got to say, there's a lot more confidence to come out here. But nearly, you could see the reaction. The crowd yeah, they love him. amazed to see. Hands on his own. We back. are almost a third of the way through the field. And we've only had one elimination so far. Say, if you follow the show, you know who is going to be number 10. Huge drop kick from Sedgwick there. Number 10 is Hayson Riley. The man who was banned from pushing limits, but not banned from the bash. No. He earned that number 10 spot. He was banned spot by the, uh, <laughs> the general manager, but not banned from here. Double underhook DDT on Sedgwick. Jason Riley would love to get that dream ticket, as would everybody here tonight. And I know Sebastian Mercer, who is very familiar with Jason Riley, is J-Row oh! goes all the way over. Second elimination. J-Row is out of here. The man that Jason Riley is embroiled in a feud with is not too many numbers away. Jero becomes the second person to be out of the bash this year. Hubris is dangerously oh, teetering on the apron. Center though. ring, Hamza and Sir Jonathan Sedgwick. Look at this, yeah. Oh, oh, they are like friends. In this There's no friends in this though, Sid. There was a smile and a yeah. respectful thing. There we've got to go. Oh, oh he's with Sedgwick. a massive clothesline. Joe oh, Sedgwick dangling on the far side. This is so oh, hard yeah, to do. On ball humorous. We have to have eyes everywhere. We really do. We have to have eyes everywhere. Hubris! Oh, oh, almost out! Oh, has he touched? No. Almost gone. Yeah. As we're going to meet number 11. Oh, it sounds like you are. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. it is. The Empire is going in numbers in yeah. this ring. Empire growing here, you see Cedric and Chris Castle as Johan springboards in. Like I said, they had him distracted. And look at this. Now the Empire working in mass. Like I said, oh no. no. It's bad news if Cliff Harrison holds on though. No. Enough, and now they're stomping on Harrison. There on the yeah, now. Harrison's out. Oh, and that out. Jero fuming they didn't win, but Harrison's dangling, look, precariously over there. Damien Black with a neck breaker on Hamza. Is there only one man in danger? It's Cliff Harrison on the wrong side of them ropes. He is, if he drops down, he's out of here. He gets back yeah, in and rolls back, back in. in. Safe and sound here. For now. For now, sir. You have to remember, there only has one winner here. Yeah. Um, there's only going to be one that doesn't go over that top row. Jonathan Sedgwick suplexes Johan, and now Joe Sedgwick suplexes his dad. I, was, I don't think John, Joe Sedgwick was happy that John Sedgwick had suplexed a member of the now Empire. Black suplexes Joe. It's like Suplex City. Well, who got number 12? It's Jacob Reed! Cliff Harrison, just the person he needed! And look at Johan Hunt going, come on, bring it! Jacob Reed pie faces the Wolfman. Hamster on the wrong side, oh, buddy. Oh, look at Reed! This ring is filling up, Sid. How are we going to say? Our, our man in danger at the minute is Hans on the side. He's on the wrong side of this apron. Big uh, uppercut by Reed. And Reed and Harrison are the dogs of war. I mean, I 
mean, I'm sure they'll they'll work with each other, but if it comes down to them two, they will have no problem that going out. It. It's every man for himself, only one. Every can dog win. for himself. <laughs> yeah. And now you're on hunting Cedric. Oh, dogs are together. Look. In the silence, of Damien Black there. And look at oh, this. The Empire with the Blue Thunderbomb working together. They say number 13 is unlucky for Sunset. They're going to find out who got it in I a minute. They say who could be have the unlucky slash lucky. Hey, some Riley teetering on the brink as he's said to it. Both men. Joe said you being held back in by Chris Casa. You can see the alliance. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to find out who got the unlucky number 13. <laughs> your way right now. What? <laughs> what is he doing? He's already been in. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this? What the hell is this? <laughs> Have I seen things in his area? Stone Cold <laughs> Sheik Austin. Oh, I have no, seen everything. No. Oh, oh, again. again. Oh, look at Castle. Oh, oh, look at Castle. Oh. <laughs> what? That's all I have to say. What? What's I that? can't believe he tried entering again and the oh, same outcome Lord. happened. Chris Castle eliminated. Chris she Castle once it. again they eliminated him twice. Oh my god. So we know that was number 30. And it was unlucky. It really was, yeah. Unlucky we know. for some. Oh. Who's next up? We know number 14. We know, 14 yeah. Number 14 got his number by winning the British bo uh, British Bash Box match on the showdown. The man he faced earlier is still in this ring. He's already he wrestled once ready. tonight. I don't think he realises. He's already defended that Genesis Championship once. Tonight, though, he has a chance to get the dream ticket. Oh, he's realised. Clay Morrison, and you can hear the music. The Genesis champion and the man he screwed out of that belt the other week, and now Fifth Harrison and Mercer going at it again. Up, up, power bomb by Mercer. Oh, if it wasn't enough, what he'd done already to Cliff Harris. Twenty rested. Oh, you want to Oh, I <laughs> four on there. This is crazy action. We're nearly halfway through the field, Sid. Oh, Cliff, look, I Harrison's know that's dangling. Okay, so Riley okay, so now to gets the his hands. Yeah, gets his hands. Not really to rescue Cliff, but more to get his hands on Sebastian Mercer. Now Johan yes. Hunt on the shoulders of the Rolling Moose. Oh! Jacob Reed, precarious position. Hands up, nips up. This castle maybe going over by Jonathan Cedric here. NRG chance, we're still going to see. Momentum's not far away, he's got a number and a couple of numbers. It says three, we more, three more away, and yeah. we have more from NRG. But but Hunt, just, Hunt just got the last, yeah. Oh, out here. Sedgwick, who entered at number two, no less. Both Sedgwick's entered at one and two, they're still in there. As we are now halfway through, Sid. Who is number Sheik 
Casper. This is uh, straight for Chris Casper. Third time lucky. I think this. I think I'm seeing. <laughs> am I? I don't oh know. no! Not again! Oh, no! Oh my God! <laughs> Chris Castle has eliminated him three times now. What Sean the hell Schieker am I watching? It's gone. Oh, Chris now. Castle on the apron. I do not. I'm lost for words at this point. Oh my god. Oh my god. John Seeker has been eliminated. Six. Number 16 about to come through that curtain. <laughs> Tell me it's not him again. Okay. Kevin we saw him be instrumental earlier in JPR winning the Hardcore Championship. Cayman okay, Carlisle and Case and Riley going at it. Cayman okay, Carlisle, a former Grand Slam champion, would love to get another opportunity at the big prize. And now look at this, a man he's very familiar with. Jonathan Cedric and Cayman Carlisle have a rich, storied history. <laughs> I guess a, a history at UKW. There is between a lot of history, yeah. Well. So that was number 16. Number 17 was who we know decided is. on the British Bash Boxers will be the partner of uh, is he still there? Yeah, he's I'm still there. Sorry, yeah, he's still in there in the top. Oh, hang on. Well, Cayman Carlisle and Cedric there, look, Joe that is. Teetering on the brink. This is crazy times. John Sheikah, really? John Sheikah. Stone Cold Sheik Austin. <laughs> oh my days. You never know what's going to happen at the Great British Bash. Say, uh, right. The man with most eliminations tonight is Chris Castle. Right, yeah. Oh my God, you're right. You have to realise it. I don't want to acknowledge this, but it's true. Well, we know number 17 is now half of NRG. NRG are in the Look at Cedric waiting for Mo. Whoa! Oh, he just tattooed Joe Cedric. And Hubris is still in there. Double, Double knees, knees to Joe Sedgwick. Double knees to Hubris who catches him though. No way Mo Mendel wants to be on that top rope. Yeah, but Mo pushes off Paul Hubris. Look at Hubris and Sedgwick. Not happy if they need to realise. No. Mo with a no! blockbuster <laughs> off the top rope. Beautiful move by Momentum. This wow. ring is filling up. It is. We need to eliminate some people Very here. quickly, this ring is filling up. We're over halfway through the Great British Bash for 2023. To the victor goes the spoils. And now, Chris Castle has got, like you said, the most eliminations so far here. How many eliminated the same per I mean, does it really count? It counts. What, different. really? Different. Uh. Good Lord. Never let me hear the end of it, I'll tell you. <laughs> Never. It's a ring filling up with UK wrestling superstars here. It's like a who's who of Friday Night Showdown oh, yeah, and Wednesday yeah. Night Ignite at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> if you didn't know the roster, you're learning it quickly here tonight. You really are. Oh, you oh, is he? No, it's like no oh, he was so very close. Cool. Yeah, Harrison. Very closely. Sorry, Carlisle, very closely. Oh, clubbing. Carlisle, and look at this. Bishop and Jacob Reed face to face. Bishop taking none of it. He's all for himself here. Jacob Reed thinking that. Uh, no discretion is the better part of Valor and running away from the, uh, the challenge of Bishop, but Bishop now beating up the partner of Jacob Reed. The Harrison's that was number 18. You're nice. keeping count here. Oh! Oh, Joe Cedric! Oh, hubris! But look at Cliff Harrison and Bishop. Shot by Bishop Cedric. 
Jonathan and Joe still in there. They started the great yeah, race They're back. both hanging on for dear life. They are, Paul Huber is still Cedric out in danger zone. Wow. My eyes are everywhere at this point. Came in on the apron. Came in on the apron, rhymes. <laughs> I'm trying to see. Paul Huber is just hanging on again. Huber is hanging on, hanging on by, yeah with everything he has to try and get another opportunity at the title he lost earlier on. Ten, nine, eight, and that's to meet number 19 six, in the Great British Bash. Five, four, three, two, and now look at everybody tattooing on Sebastian Mercer. Oh no! Oh cool, cool off the surge! Here is the Alpha Predator, and that is a big man to get over that top row. I want to be the one. Want to be the one who has to try and get him over. People need to be aware here. He's a big man to throw over the top. The Alpha Predator strides over the top row, and this could be a game changer. So Cliff is out of there, and look at the face off in the middle of the ring, Sid. Oh, that's what took my eye. Jacob Reed Bishop, Rex Seven, all stood to toe. There, they are three very big men in there at the moment. Oh, look at Mo. Mo has got. Oh, Mercer on his yeah. for NRG now. Sebastian Mercer. Sebastian Mercer being picked up by NRG. Mercer. NRG eliminate Mercer! NRG have done it! A little bit of revenge. They got screwed up. Yeah, a little bit of revenge for NRG as they get rid of the Genesis champion who's not going to be the dream ticket holder. By nearly two thirds of the way through, as we're about to meet number 20. Remember, Sid numbers one and two and four are still in there. And it's Damien Black and you miss number three is still in there. Oh Damien yeah. Black is still number, in there. Yeah, one to four still in. Cliff Harrison and six still in. And who's number twenty? It's not me. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Why is he dead? He's been. Why is he. Ultimate Sheik. Ultimate, Ultimate Sheik is Hazel here. Is out oh, of here, Chris but... Castle. Cannot believe his eyes. Ultimate Sheik. The is Ultimate here. Sheik. <laughs> I think I've oh, seen Chris everything in my lifetime. Oh, no. The wig is off. No, Ultimate Sheik. The Ultimate Sheik is gone. No. This castle now with four eliminations there. I just. Oh, Jacob Reed. Oh, Jacob Reed and Rick Savage. Are they all eliminated no. here? Rick so Savage oh, not happy and just grabbing Jacob Reed. That was two of eliminations. Yeah. At how these three got Savage eliminated. still wants to fight. Savage and Jacob Reed are still going at it. Been eliminated here. The Cedric's still going at it inside the ring. I say the field is sitting down a little bit. Numbers one to four still in the Great British Bash. Jacob Reed being stalked by Savage. We're about to meet number 21. If, if Shiba 2 comes back out here, there's no one else. We're going to find out. Here's number 21. Oh. No. I found the pick of a victory early on pushing limits. I mean, I mean I'm going to say, thank God for Evan Knight, because it's not Sheba 2. But Evan Knight springs in with a DDT on Hamza. You saw him mocking Hamza. Oh, Hamza and he oh. eliminates him. Oh. Evan oh, man, Knight. not happy no. now. Evan Knight just springboarded in. Wow, Hamza is out. Evan Knight now has to pay for his actions with the other half of NRG. 
Evan Nye, impressive like you said earlier. Oh, right on his head. Right on his head. You said it was impressive earlier on. The victory are pushing limits. Number 21 for Evan Nye. I mean... An upstart like Evan Knight could win the whole thing, see? He could yeah, show the world these here. These numbers are great numbers. Yeah. I know they're not 30, but being this back in the house. Now, Jonathan Sedgwick, Joe Sedgwick, and Evan Knight come face to face here. This is interesting. Momentum here, not long. King Good with the side. Oh! He super kicked his own dad. Sedgwick super kicked Sedgwick. Oh! Hubris. And Joe. I say all men on the, on the safe side of the road here. Is there a safe side? Number 22 about to come out. Sorry, this is And here is the wild card. <laughs> anyway, Tommy Dillon, who last night on Showdown said was very, very, very oh, determined to win. Oh, yeah, the man that is in the bash right here. Defeated Cayman, but before that, he was focused and determined. Who's on there? Cayman Kyle? Oh, oh. over here. I think he was shot, shot by Hubris and Sedgwick going at it. Oh! A receipt from Joe. They are chopping the lives off each other. Evan yeah. Knight and Johan Hunt will be going out raw. Can't believe Castle's still in there. He entered at number eight. He's eliminated what four people and he's still in there. Evan Knight fighting for his young career here. And now look at in the ring. You got Damian Black and Tommy Dillon going at it. Those two are no strangers to each other. Remember that, yeah, Sid? Yeah, I'm gonna say how's that a history match. Absolutely, they do. Back up here. Yes, a lot of things have changed since then, but not far from the result. Team pushed over by Chris Castle. Tommy in. Dragon flex there by Murphy. Lewis is teetering on the brink again. Jonathan Sage and Kevin Oh no! After losing! Oh, Kevin distracted by that! Oh, oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Wow! I don't think Henry Winter's coming out here, Sid. It was a great. Like, the name Henry Winter was Henry enough. Winter distracted Kevin. He's not coming out here. Man. It was enough to distract him. And Cayman's going to wait for him, but... He's not having, he cannot believe he has been distracted. But where is he? His number was called, but he's not here. No. And Cayman, maybe he's gone to look for him. Wow, well, this thing is out of control. So numbers one to four. Still in there. Well, Hoobers is kind of on the apron, so like clinging on for his life, as he wants another shot of that title he lost earlier on. Now the dead man's hand on Hubris. The Hubris using that smart, backing up as quick yeah. as he could to break it. The fatigue must be setting in for the guys who started say, this. You've got to respect him in black here. His team is still to enter. We know they are entering, and he is still holding on here after being number three. Yep. And now we're going to meet number 24. Ten, Not many men left. Eight, seven, six, five, four. the Brotherhood with their numbers, Sid. This is the yeah. first one of them. Like I say, how lucky and how, what a time when Damien yeah. Black is thinking. Damien Black's it. been in there since number three, and Uther of the firing squad is in, and he's got Tommy Dillon. Now Uther, and Cedric and Cedric have worked together we a few times again, here. Huh? Yeah. It's like the fourth time they've hit one move together before going back to their own agendas here. Wow, as much as they hate each other, 
they are in the Persian Empire together, yeah. we have to remember. Yep. It, the Persian Empire here has four yep. people. The castle in. is still in there, believe it or not. Chris Castle, Johan Hunt, Jonathan Cedric, Joe Cedric, still in there. Evan Knight, oh, plant Joe Cedric. Evan Knight's looked impressive here, Sid. He's got a bright future, no doubt. Damien Black now with Evan Knight up in the air, huge body slam. Uther picks up Evan Knight. Uther and Damien Black, we know, members of the firing squad, we mentioned it. DDT. Well, we're up to. Not be 100%, but Cerebral Steve is back in there. Kicks momentum right in the face. Cerebral Steve looks rejuvenated after that tough loss earlier. Oh, he knows what this means to set the dream ticket. Why is he entered in yeah, number 25 here? He's got a good number. X Plex by Steve. Rocket by Sedgwick. Uther now grabbing Joe. Uther, DDT Sedgwick here. Evan Knight still in the corner there. He's meeting the foot of Steve, Paul Hubris, and Uther. Going at it, no friends, only enemies in this kind of match. Who is with a suplex? Chris Castle picking up one man. Pinchinoco driver connects. No pinfalls. Is he on the bad side or is he on the good side? I don't know if he's gone over the top rope. My eyes haven't been watching. There, I know he's safe yeah, now. Dylan gets back in again to safety. Like you said, the only way. so many men to watch here. The only way to be safe is to be in the ring here. Oh, who's over the top? Chris Castle. One for over. Lasted, I mean, I have to give cre credit to Castle because he's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would. You're not Now we're up to what? 26. 26. Tommy Dillon. Number 26. Brand new man. A man that failed in becoming number one contender for that Genesis. Championship. But he's still a new man, right? But he is still the new man. Brand new man Newman is in there with Chris Castle at the moment. And imagine what what it would do for a guy from Ignite to win this thing, Sid. How can I say it? Obviously, Dream Ticket. Would they go for their, the Ignite Brand wow. Championship, the Genesis title, or would they come for a Shotgun Championship? Or the Television Championship, the Hardcore Championship, Joe anything. Cedric nearly going there. So Joe Cedric, hanging that, on that is. Yeah. Yeah. Literally hanging on by a thread. Paul Hubris on Damien Black there. Oh, oh. Damien Black is gone! Number wow. four eliminates number three after all this time. The leader of the firing squad is gone, but Uther's still in there. I think he was, he was busy working every night, didn't realise. Yep, Uther, yeah, he was preoccupied with night, didn't see his uh, teammate get eliminated there. Evan Knight's been impressive. But it's all about who can outlast Not everybody else is Newman. Tommy Dylan goes over, yeah. Him here. Dylan, UKW veteran. Oh, Dylan! Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Oh, oh. No, he's hung me on. We're about to meet number 27. There's not many men left. So we're into ever close. To number 30. Has Ufa been eliminated? What is Ufa this? Ufa has been eliminated. Has... Oh, don't know what he's seen! Oh, no! What have we seen? I don't think Chris Castle has realised. Oh, he has now. He is now. Oh, my God. Really? Chris and this Castle. time... Oh, oh I see this time. it! Oh, and this time... It. The crowd have been rubbed in here. Finally! Castle is gone! <laughs> Wow, and a stunner on Joe Sedgwick! <laughs> oh my god, and one for Johan Hunt as well! 
is this shit? You <laughs> sweet bear. There's no pinfalls, you moron. Get them. There's no pinfalls. Oh my god. I don't think Chris Castle can believe Castle it. Castle cannot believe it. Fifth time Damian on Black Lockie. and Uthra, the firing squad, are out of here. That was number 27. <laughs> the referee telling Castle, look, you're eliminated, you've got to go. After leaving, he cannot believe it. Castle he literally so cocky that he's cannot believe it. Falls. After all them eliminations, that's, that's, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> Castle saying it's ridiculous, but he's gone. Yon now Jan Hunt. Hunt. I, mean, I don't even know what to call him at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Sedgwick up on the shoulders. Oh no, he's going to get his attitude adjusted. Oh, yes! <laughs> One look! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That, was, that was for you, Sid. <laughs> oh. Well, here is the Not third member of the firing squad. His yeah. team has been eliminated. All his teammates are gone, there's one member of the firing squad left and there's only two men left to enter the Great British Bash. We already know who one of them is. Damon Crow. It's got Joe Sedgwick, he's not even got in the match yeah, yet. He needs to get in this match. He's in now. Yeah, this thing is breaking down. Two people left, one of them is Ian Creed. I guess so who's the other? 30. It's only number 29. Standing between Ian Creek coming out here. And now Johan Hunt trying to eliminate McToon here. And then you oh, and then you've got the roundhouse kicks of Cerebral Steve and Evan Knight. Steve's still there, Evan Knight's still there. Man. And still, numbers one, two, and four, Sid, are still in at the Great British Bash. Oh shit, hanging on! Hanging on by a proverbial thread. Cerebral Steve's got Evan Knight, drives him down. Momentum in a dangerous spot here though. Imagine Cedric and Cedric must be absolutely exhausted by this point, and Paul Hubris to an extent. As we're about to find out who got Ten, the penultimate eight, number. Eight, seven, who is it, Sid? Is it you? Four, is this two, your moment? Two, one, well... No. Oh my God! Oh, hang on a minute! Oh, 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 Johan Hunt tried to eliminate Brett, and we've now got three Cedrics in the ring. And now we know one of these men, or Ian Creed, is going to win that dream ticket, said. It wasn't me. It was never going to be me, I'm afraid. Literally holding on with his arms for his dear life. Oh, and on the other Dylan. side, Dylan over the top rope. Needs to be careful. Dylan mentioned he's had enough of people disrespecting him. Against him. Yeah, disrespecting him. He used to be uh, a tag with Sheik McTurner and then getting eliminated. Yep. Sheep. Hubris and Cerebral see going at it. They're no strangers to each other either. Hubris holding on with a cutter. Dylan using that parry on the outside to stay in this match yep. here. And now Evan Knight and Brett Sedgwick, no strangers to each other from Ignite in the corner. There is one man left to enter the 2023 Great British Bash. And he's about to make his entrance. From where? I don't know. I say, everyone should know. If you watched Showdown last night, if you were here, he told us what number he was picking. He was the only man who got to pick. Here he is, he just 30. Macrona. Oh, wow, got to win this match, Ian Creed. The only man who was able to choose from one of 30. He chose number 30 by winning the Great British Mini Bash on Showdown. He's got Damon Crow on his shoulders. So, Sid, one of these men is going to get that no. dream ticket. No, Look at the, the, the finger, finger the right oh. in the ear of Damon Crow. Oh, Damon Crow. Damon Crow, if he falls oh. down, he's out. Oh, oh he's oh, gone. Oh, Ian Creed. Ian Creed. He eliminates Damon Crow. 
Ian Creed with Evan Knight. Evan Knight! Evan Knight's from as well. Ian Creed, he's eliminating people wow. for the fun of it here. Two people in the matter of moments, and now he's got Tommy oh. Dillon. Ian Creed with Dillon. Is this a. His finger in the Is he going to do this Roy as well? He is. He is. three eliminations in seconds. Oh. Ian Creed. Ian Creed eliminates three people in the space of a minute here in the Great British Bash. He is chasing Chris Castle's former eliminations yeah. here. Well, the, the, the fact he picked number 30 definitely works oh, to his advantage. Has he eliminated Brendan? No. Cedric and Steve going at it. So we've got three Cedrics. Three Cedrics. Oh, oh who's he's Chris? the first time three Cedrics see each other. You mentioned three Look Cedrics. At that, yeah. Look at Look this. At this. Look more at this, Sid. We know Brett and Joe have been together on that Snowden edition. My, and this is it. The family is there. My goosebumps have got goosebumps. <laughs> I cannot believe what I am seeing. Three generations oh, of Cedric. Look Joe, at Joe. Cedric saying he's got Let this. Let me have it. Pushing his younger brother the out man there. Who's, the man who started at one of the Oh, my God. Oh. oh. Brett nearly pulled a Joe and eliminated his brother. And now oh, Joe, Joe Cedric. Joe trying to throw Brett. Oh, Joe trying to eliminate Brett. This is amazing. Brothers and now. Brothers oh, no. Superminate to Brett. Brett is Brett. gone. Just. Oh, oh, man. Out of this contest. Brett tried to do a Joe oh. to Joe, but Joe, with all that experience, got one over on his sibling yeah, there. Magic has been super cool. Yeah, wow. Right nice try from Brett. Phantom Stomp on McToom, and Johan Hunt has got to dispatch him over the top rope to eliminate him after all this effort. Sheep McToom is holding on. With oh, he's, he's, he's gone, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. This time not lucky, shall we say. Wow. This thing breaking down. Brent Newman still in there. Oh, he's got Johan Hunt. Johan Hunt reverses it. And Brent, Brent the new man, is out. And now we can see daylight. I was say <laughs> the numbers are dwindling yeah, down. They We're are great closer word. and close. Momentum still in there. Paul Hubris, Joe Cedric, Jonathan Cedric, Ian Creed, and Cerebral Steve. <laughs> and now we'll get oh, Steve with momentum. Yeah. Dangerous position to be in. Oh, Mo fights back. Cerebral Steve catches Mo's oh, shoulder in his guts. Mo oh, oh. oh. Mo is out of here. And now we're down to one, two, three, four, five, six. Six men remain. Dream ticket on the line. It's hanging by a proverbial thread. Ian Creed, Jonathan Cedric, Joe Cedric, Johan Hun, Paul Hubris, or Cerebral Steve. One of these men is going to win the dream ticket and get a championship opportunity whenever the heck they want. Cerebral Steve holds on to Hubris. But Hubris. Hubris is Oh, Steve is gone. And look at down to five. Down in the ear of Jeff yeah. Cedric is Ian Cream. We saw him eliminate three people by doing this using earlier. That move, he eliminates a loss. Oh, oh he's no. it. Cedric Ian reverses Creed. it. Ian Cream is oh. gone. Oh, oh my God. God. How many have Joe and look at this. Now. Look at this now, though, Sid. We're down to Paul Hubris and the Johan Hunt and the two men who started the oh, Great British you've got Bash. To bear in mind, this is now three Persian Empire, Empire members. Yeah. And nice. one former essential heavyweight champion as the former tag team champion. Oh, looking for the, for the magic, magic killer. killer. No. But Joe Cedric. Look at Johan Hunt. Yon charges and oh. Yon is gone! He's oh my god! He's losing the momentum of Yon Hunt. And now we're hilarious. left. Oh my god, we're left with one, Joe two, Cedric. and four. Yeah, Joe Cedric, Jonathan Cedric, and Mr. Cedric's chan. You can see how much everyone is not a fan of Paul Hubris here. No. They would rather cheer for Joe Cedric. I know that says there. everything. <laughs> <laughs> they would rather cheer for him than cheer for Hubris. And now Hubris looks around and sees the two men who started the Great British Bash standing in front of him. 
this is oh. unreal. Is this, are we actually going to see Look at Joe going, tomorrow? come on, Dad, you can take him. He needs to be him. <laughs> I mean, I mean, are they going to work together to... Oh! It's a year in the making, oh, Sid Phoenix. Jonathan, you just absolutely That is a year in so. That is a year in the making. Oh. Cedric's been waiting. And oh. now Joe Cedric is out oh, okay, in so the it's ring, man. It's Paul Hubris gets Joe and Cedric. Oh, what, what are Sean Reed doing here? Oh, come on, Alfred. She's got no business. Oh, oh, he's oh, 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 The heavyweight champion is here to thwart the attempt. Yeah, oh, oh she's so much tougher! And the Hubris not happy with Sapper! Let's go, Sean Reed! Oh, my God! Oh, oh, my God! to the number oh. one and two, father and son are oh. the last two in the Great oh. British Bash. Paul Hubris' attention was by... It was from his partner. partner. Was took by the throw of Mustafa Khan. Mustafa Khan is the UKW World Heavyweight Champion. And now we are down to Jonathan father and, and Joe Sedgwick. Started it here. Father and son oh, finishing it. it. Hubris and Reed are out of here. I Oh my god. This is unbelievable. Oh. Joe firing off at his dad. Joe has realised this time. Yeah. Joe with a slam. Oh my god. Leg drop. Just like his dad does. And this crowd realised it's not his leg drop. Cedric is now oh, tuning up his own band. He plays no. to his own tune. He just got super kicked by his dad. And now, Joe Cedric looking. Oh, oh, what's Mustafa Khan, 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 Khan doing? Like, what is Mustafa, Mustafa Khan, Khan doing? doing? He's got the leg of Cedric. Oh, and Jonathan oh, Cedric oh, wins the British oh, match. What the hell? Cedric eliminated his dad this year. It was sweet, sweet revenge. And Sid Phoenix is going to pass the torch to the man who now holds a championship match whenever he chooses. Cedric is absolutely steaming on the outside. And now Sid Phoenix raises the hand of the new dream ticket holder. The dream ticket has been passed from Sid Phoenix to Jonathan Cedric who now stares down his friend his tag team Mustafa partner Khan said. did say oh he owns that he's not truly going to go and this. look Cedric reminds Khan I have this a one time soon I'm going to cash it in the Persian Empire members together I'm going to say what a night for the Persian Empire Cedric Last in the field, he entered at number one, remember? And he won everything tonight. Jonathan Sedgwick is the winner of the Great British Bash 2023. And Joe Sedgwick is led to pick up the pieces.
Shelby with fantastic introductions. The only's still complaining. Still. Inside of Brookside. He's near that and in the ring there. Ready to officiate the UK Wrestling Women's Championship. This day of reckoning continues here in Batley. It's taken by breath. Some of the action tonight, incredible. That match we just saw with Cedric and Steve was amazing. Bell rings, we're underway. The gold is on the line. And Leone Rose do it. I doubt a handshake yeah, I mean, from Leone. There we go. Zion Brookside's a little bit naive as she thought that Leone Rose was ever going to shake her hand. But she can't say she didn't try. <laughs> Referee's got five to get her out the corner. As I would expect, a clean break from Zaya Brookside. If that was Leone, she wouldn't have clean broke there. No, she'd have used every second to her advantage. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? <laughs> Leone Rose, is she going to go back to the drawing board and try it again? Crowd in a frenzy for Zaya Brookside, they hook up in the middle of the ring once more. I don't know who's got the strength advantage here. They're both sort of even Stevens. Yeah, sort of similar builds to these two young ladies. Zaya Brookside rings the arm of Leone here, wrenches down on it. Asking the crowd if she should break the arm of Leone. She's going to have a good go at it. One more time. The crowd wants it. They want in Leone Rose's arm broke. Yeah. Oh, it might get a wish. It's been rung around. Oh, I'm still holding on. How sparkly the gear as I brooks on it. Dazzling in these dazzling, lights. Yeah. The delivery. lights are bright. <laughs> Here in Batley. And Leone trying to get Brookside to get off, but trying to tell the ref to how to do his job. Not a good idea. Yeah, but how as much as we don't like it, how smart is that from Leone? Yeah, yeah she knew her way around. She needed to get her arm out of that hole. She knew exactly where she was. It was smart, like you said. <laughs> that arm has taken a bit of a ringing. But again, Brookside with the advantage. Going back to where she started off, working the arm, that shoulder joint. No. Brookside looks like she's having a bit of fun here. She's going to do it again? Yes, she is. She's just going to be winding up the only road. I'm going to say how she's doing here. He's winding up the fall, a former UK women's champion. Two time. Two time former champion. I'm glad you've corrected me there because she would have not let me live that Exactly. Down Imagine it, yeah. <laughs> you'd rather me, me You'd there. rather me correct you than she would. <laughs> oh, yes, 100%. Absolutely. I'd be the other way around. I'd be the same. <laughs> I'd rather you correct me than she did. Shut up, Brett. I keep hearing that in my sleep still. <laughs> It's like a nightmare. <laughs> Brookside, caught here. She's gonna find her way out of this predicament here. Oh, yes she is. Is she gonna be able to still not broke it though? No. Is she able to? Oh, that's one way to do it. Have we done a headstand? 
No, me neither. But Zy Brookside, <laughs> definitely his is doing here. Head sandwich clapping up. The and anchor. frees herself from the predicament. And safely say at the age of 42 and a half, I would not be able to do that. <laughs> never say never, bro. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Zyra Upside takes the leg. Oh, single leg crab here, more or less, like she's caught it and. Oh, oh that's smart. That's gonna hurt, right? Ah, it's painful. There. You can hear Leon is screaming. Yeah, ow. She caught a leg in a grapevine and then kicked her a, a, a leg at the other knee, and that's gonna hurt. Again, look, this is the only gonna have no choice here. The only's a long way from the ropes. In fact, Brookside has wrestled the only rose out here. Now back to the arm. But the only reverses it. Oh, shot. Nothing scientific about that. Built up anger, you said yeah. that she'd been having all match. There is a lot of anger in the only rows, we know there is. But Zaya Brookside catches with the foot. Up to the ropes here, Zaya Brookside comes out with a head scissors. And a drop kick. <laughs> and the only rows. I saw her, yeah. Realised where she was. I saw her looking round and as soon as she saw Zaya Brookside coming for her, out she went. She needs that. That, that experience, shall yep, we say? Absolutely. To get out of there. I mean, Zaya has been wrestling longer than Leone Rose, but not in this venue. Not here. It is somewhere Leone Rose is very, very familiar with. At the side of Zaya Brookside. And Leone, knowing she's got till 10. Obviously, she can't win the title on a count out. She has to win it by pinfall or submission. That's just the rules. But she will use every second of Neil Adams' counter advantage. She'll use 9.8 oh. back there. And the only caught yeah. the hand of Cybrook, so then she, she was just waiting, wasn't she, for an opportunity? Oh, now. Oh. talking smack to the champion and now choking her over the rope she's got till five she knows full well how long she's got there you go you hear us shouting I know I know how long I know what I'm doing all the time a suplex there by Rose it's the leg on Brookside but only gets two telling the ref to count faster there was nothing wrong with Neil's count there Maybe now she's got to wear Brookside down here. Right in the middle of the ring. Here at Day of Reckoning, our main event said is coming. After this, there's only one match left. Are we going to see? Bye bye, back? Paul. <laughs> oh, you say we are. <laughs> Let's see the back of Paul Hubris. We'll find out. Still to come tonight for the UKW World Heavyweight come on, Championship. Come I've had my fingers crossed all I night. I know, yeah, he literally has as well, folks. physically stopped. True. So I've been waiting for. Could you not have put it on first so I could have got rid of Paul Hubert? <laughs> no, it's the main event, man. <laughs> I know you want to get rid of him, but you've got to wait a few more minutes. The only Rose might win the Women's Championship before we do that. Oh. I know you don't I want that either. I know. Night I know, I know. But look at that long foot. Leone, Mark, yeah, Leone, we've wow. seen it before, that long leg. Again. Again. Telling the ref, she knows the rules, she's got caught by Brookside, who nearly shut her up with a victory there. Very, very insistent. Oh, to Neil that she knows the rules. Kick to the back of the head, is Brookside out here? Have we got a three time champion? No, we haven't. It's got two still. Sits down on the back of Brookside. Oh, 
one now. Oh, that clutch locked in there. Zoe Brookside is a long way from safety here. Two and a half. And Leone Rose not getting it done yet. Still some fight in our women's champion. But how much? Side so, side on the shoulders of Leone fights her way out, rolls her up. The cradles are in all that way. Oh, and a big clothesline. You hear the roar on Brookside here. Might have got a bit of momentum going. Oh! Leone is rocked in the corner. Zion Brookside. He's coming in with those double knees. Oh, to the back of the neck. Right to the back of the neck and then a head into the turnbuckle. Zion Brookside with a neck breaker. This could be it. Is she going to retain her title? Oh. Not enough here, Leone Rose showing that she, she, how much she wants to become a three-time UKW Women's Champion here. Yep. There's no doubt Leone wants it, but she wants all the attention to be on her. Yeah? Oh yeah, 100% you call that. Yes, yeah, she's hungry. Yes, yeah, she's proud of what she can do, but she's very selfish. She just wants it all to be about her all the time. So Brookside's trying to pick her up here, but there's not enough strength in Brookside. Leone is fighting off to the second rope here. Oh, a big drop kick by Rose. And now the raw, no! Thought she was going for the Red Queen, but she didn't. As she cracked the code of Zaya Brookside here, no! <laughs> she hasn't. Codebreaker, not enough. She hasn't solved the conundrum that is Zaya Brookside at the moment. <laughs> and now, uh, what is Leone Rose going to have to do to wrestle this championship away? She's back up to the second row, but Brookside is there oh. to catch her. Oh, wow. And now we saw her win the title with this. We saw her win the title with it. Is she going to defend the title with it? Yes, she is. We are here and still UK Wrestling Women's Champion, Zaya Brookside. Successful first defense of a women's championship. Not just six, a successful defense. You get to hear this music one more yeah. time. <laughs> I've sent you the link, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have as well. So... Wow. So, from the side, rave's on tonight. The rave lights are going. This is some glow sticks at this point. Yeah, defending champion is Aya Brookside, victorious again in the UKW arena. <laughs> Little fish, big fish, cardboard box, right? Those sticks in the air, like it's 1995. So Brookside with a victory. And no three-peating. No three-peat for Leone Rose. But I fear we might not hear the end of it. No, I, I'm going to say, there'll be some way that she got screwed up. There'll be some way she got right. planted it out. It's yeah. yeah. just went past me, it stomped the bottom of my It's not there. Me a rhythm, One more time to your women's champion, Zion Brookside! Show yes and no. And Zion Brookside gets the victory tonight here at Day of Reckoning. <laughs>